Hi, my name is Caitlin McNabb. I'm a sophomore at Gallatin, and I will be performing an original piece titled A Love Letter to My Estranged Father. Father, you're alive. I wasn't sure for all of these years whether you were out there looking for me the same way I was looking for you. I always felt as if you were right there, right behind me, serving as a silent protector over everything I did. Yet, I never talked to you. I never reached out to you. I'm sorry. I wanted to. I really did. I was just horrified at the idea that if I turned around and you weren't there, if I pulled my voice out of my stomach and dragged my heart out of my ribcage and delivered both to you on a silver platter and offered them to you with the kindest smile, I was horrified at the idea that I would call your name and there would be no answer. I should have reached out to you. I should have asked mom for your number. I should have asked her why we stopped visiting your house on Sundays like we used to when I was little. I should have asked her why everyone had all of these great stories to tell about you and I had none of my own. Mom speaks to you. She thinks I don't know, but I know. I hear her, in the bedroom, with the door closed, whispering to you. Sometimes I press my ear against the door and try to imagine what you were saying back to her. My ear will ache as I try to remember everything she says to you in hopes that I will have something to talk to you about when we finally meet again. I really missed you. There are times when I wonder what I did wrong for you to leave my life without any warning or so much as a solid goodbye. There are times when I see only red, see only broken promises, see only missed birthdays, see only unreturned phone calls, see only nights crying myself to sleep, see only the ways you have shown up and shown out for everyone else but me. I should have reached out to you, but you never tried to reach out to me. I don't know what your voice sounds like. Yet, I am the one who dreams of it, spends entire school days imagining the gravel of your laugh. There's a hello that has been living in my mouth, waiting behind my wisdom teeth. I've been mustering the courage to speak it since I was conceived. I've been mustering the courage to speak it since I was a conceived thought. I've been mustering the courage to speak it before I was a conceived thought. My yearning to have a relationship with you, Dad, precedes all and everything. And then yesterday, I found the box of all the gifts you've sent me over the years. Mom didn't hide them from me, necessarily. The box was in plain sight next to the television in the living room where it's always been. You never forgot about me. You wrote me letters of your own in a language only yours, of love and protection, the two things every girl asks of her father. You never left me. I blocked you out of my life. I convinced myself you were dead. I rejected the idea of your involvement and investment in my life, all while longing for your big shoulders and your warm embrace, the same enveloping of love I used to feel when I was young. Adulthood made me skeptical. It taught me to second guess the things I used to trust. But I am your child and you are alive. I really missed you, Father. My number's at the bottom of this letter. I can't wait to hear your voice. Thank you.